Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lola for those of you who are new and jumping straight into today's video. As you've seen from the intro, I'm going to be installing this half wig from Better Length Hair. They sent me their Afro Kinky Coily wig in 18 inches and this is me just getting the hair out of the pack. I went ahead and washed it. Please make sure that you are washing your units before you wear them, okay? And now I'm just going to be styling the hair using some mousse just to get the coils a bit more defined. And and yeah i let the hair dry and now it's time for me to put on this wig so i put my hair in two chunky braids because this wig is very full your hair doesn't need to be flat um and i also had some of my hair left out in front just to be able to blend it in with the wig and this is what the unit is looking like when it was dried and fully styled this wig has four combs um so it's going to be very very secure in your head it also has an adjustable strap as well as a drawstring at the back as well so that was honestly perfect like the wig is not going anywhere it was onto my hair and it was very snug anyways i went ahead and i sprayed the hair with a bit of water just to make it a bit more manageable while i was styling it and now i'm going to be taking down the leave out that i left in front of my head and you guys right off the bat you can just see how well my leave out blended in with the wig it's already very undetectable i didn't have to manipulate my hair or do nothing i just took down those twists and it looked absolutely perfect like i was already stunned at this point but i decided to go further and just do my little styles um so i'm just adding some gel to the front of my hair i'm also going ahead to do my baby hair because i just love the look of edges you guys i know it's a bit controversial at this point to do edges or not to do them but i personally like what it looks like when i do my hair and i do my baby hair so if you don't like this you can definitely just skip it and just brush your hair back but yeah this is what my hair was looking like and i decided to do the first style which was a middle part and this wig is made in such a way that the tracks are not like detectable so it was just very easy to do this i also went ahead and put on some hoops because let me tell you this type of hair it just looks really good when you have hoops on and yeah you guys look at the material i'm working with it looks so so gorgeous looks very natural you really cannot tell that this is not my natural hair okay anyways for the second style i'm just going to be flipping the wig over because it's literally giving flip over sewing at this point so i just flipped it over into a side part and yeah it was so gorgeous i honestly couldn't tell if i preferred it as a side part or if i preferred it as a middle part but it looked really cute once again very undetectable you really could not see where my hair stopped and where the wig began like it just looked really really cute and i had very minimal leave out in front you guys so now i'm going to go ahead and add um a headband i decided to just do this just to see what it would look like um and the hair is so so full so i had to put my hair into sort of like a loose ponytail just to be able to get the headband through and yeah this process is very straightforward honestly there's not much to explain here but i like that you can wear this with the headband you can pick any color match it with your outfits match it with your makeup um you can use a scarf as well if you don't have a headband and i think it would look really really cute <laughs> So next, I decided to do a cute little half up, half down style. And you guys, I don't know if I'm being biased, but this was my favorite style of all. So I'm just sectioning out the front of the wig that I'm going to be adding to my hair to make like a little ponytail. I also added some gel and I'm just brushing my hair into the wig just to make sure it really blends and it's like a very seamless look. And then I'm just going to go ahead and use a scrunchie just to put my hair up into like a little ponytail at the front, which is going to be like my half up and when i'm done with this i'll let the back part of the wig down um and yeah that'll basically be it for the style you guys this was my favorite style i already said that but i absolutely love this style very chic very cute like it's the type of style i would definitely wear for like a date night or like a cute little event where i wanted to look dressed up but like with my natural hair it looks very very beautiful and my hair once again blended in seamlessly with the wig like you wouldn't even be able to tell that i was putting on a wig so yeah this style gets a 10 over 10 from me i absolutely loved it Asking 
now for my last and final style i decided to show you guys how you can also wear this wig as a drawstring ponytail honestly this wig is so versatile it's one of those wigs that you get to save money instead of buying multiple like wigs or ponytails so i'm just going ahead to put some gel on my hair and then i'm going to be doing two flat twists which is basically like my go-to hairstyle very quick very easy but this time when you add the ponytail at the back it just helps to like elevate the entire look and of course you can also do a regular middle part ponytail or like a bun you can do a side part and you can even do like a high ponytail or like a high puff with this wig as well i think a high puff would be really really cute with the volume of the ponytail like it would look so gorgeous but yeah this is me just putting my hair into a flat twist um when i'm done i'm gonna go ahead and repeat the same thing on the other side and then i will show you guys how to easily turn this wig into a drawstring ponytail After flat twisting my hair, I'm just going to pull the flat twist back into the other section that I left out. I'm just going to put this into a loose ponytail at the back as well. I went ahead and braided it down and just like, you know, secured it. And as you can see here, guys, I'm literally pulling the drawstring on the wig and just like that it's turned into an actual ponytail but the best part is that this ponytail is very very full it's not scanty at all personally i do not like scanty ponytails so this was just perfect i'm wrapping the drawstring around the base of the ponytail and it's as simple as that guys it really just elevates the look it gives you a very classy look um definitely something you can wear to work that would be very work appropriate and yeah very very cute style honestly but yeah guys let me know in the comments down below which of these styles that you liked the most for me it's definitely going to be the half up half down but this ponytail look is also giving as well and all of the details that you need about this wig all the links and even a coupon code will be in my description box so make sure you check that out and go cop yourself one of these wigs honestly you guys are going to love it okay but anyway thank you so so much for watching this video i really hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you in my next one okay bye